Okay, I'm on page 14 of um, the Statistics Unit 9 um, stuff here. So talking about some correlations here. Um, for 1 to 6, look at the scatter diagrams and state whether, which of the following conditions you think is true for each diagram. You may use more than one letter per question if needed. So we're looking at all of these and we're trying to figure out what we have here. So if I were to draw a line of best fit or a, a curve of best fit for number 1, we would do kind of right through here is what we would do. So that is linear. Um, we have the choice of strong, moderate, or weak linear. Um, we have the strong or weak nonlinear, no correlation, then positive or negative. So this one is linear, and so and this would, would be considered moderate. So letter B of the moderate correlation, but it's also a positive correlation of letter G there. So we have to have both of those. So when you think linear, you have to also come over to positive, negative. Question number two, if I was to do a curve of best fit, it would go through here which is not any of the curves that we've learned, but it is a curve that goes through there. Um, and so this is going to be a nonlinear curve here. It does have a correlation to it. Um, it's going to be nonlinear. And because all of those points are really close to that curve, it's going to be strong. So we're going to choose letter D in that case. Um, if we go to our next line here, um, we do have a line. I didn't mean to say that, but we do have a line here that goes through that one. So it is linear. And that is pretty darn strong. That They are close. The points are all close to that line. So letter A we would pick. And remember, when we pick one of the linears, we also have to go positive or negative so this is also letter g it is um, positive okay number four can be a little bit iffy as to what you want to choose here but i do think that in general this has a correlation here um, that you can kind of see those points are right in there so this is going to be a weak linear correlation very weak points are far away from the line so that's what we're going to have there but a weak linear and it would be since it's linear it would be a negative correlation here so letter h would be um, our other thing that we could say in this case um, potentially you could say no correlation on letter f but there is a little bit of one so that's why i think we should um, leave that and mainly because this up top part here and this bottom part here empty um, is why we can say that there is um, a bit of a correlation. Um, we go down to this other one and we have a line that we can draw through here. Um, that looks pretty darn strong. I would say that's a strong linear correlation, so letter A, um, but it's also a negative correlation, so that's letter H that's there. And number six gives you a really good example of where there is no correlation between those points. I can't, like, I can make something up, but that's about it that I could do, um, and there is no correlation between those points. So that's what you're looking at with those. Um, a quick reminder here at the bottom that correlation does not mean causation. So if this is what your data points look like, you still have to look at, like, what are the actual variables that are talked about and what happens um, from there with those. Okay, that's it for now.